Good morning. I know I look kind of crazy, but uh, you guys know how it is when you're a high school teacher. You got to dress up all the time. So it's dress up day, Hawaiian day, believe it or not. But I have something very important to talk to you about that's not Hawaiian related, nor is it necessarily spirit week related, but it is important. Now, here's the thing. When you are in education, especially in the classroom, there's a lot of times when you experience difficult things in life with students. Um, I know there's been a lot of times where things have happened outside of the classroom that were hard and sad, devastating, traumatic for my students. And as teachers, I don't think anybody realizes that teachers are like that first line of support that a lot of students have. They're the first line of like compassion that students have. They're, the, they're often, and in some cases, they're the first hug that a student has after they have that traumatic or difficult experience. And so in the last couple days, students have been coming in to return their laptops. And I've been noticing this feeling that I'm having. I see the student and they're like, hey, and it's like this, it's, it's like a, a greeting, but it's wrapped in sadness. And it's taken me a little bit of time to process what emotion I'm, I am witnessing in my, in my students. And what I've determined is that when students are returning and they haven't seen us in quite a while, I'm experiencing sadness because I'm realizing that they needed a hug for like a whole year. They needed, they needed that face-to-face, -face, that visual connection, and Zoom just didn't cut it. And I believe Zoom was a blessing to us in the last year, but it wasn't enough to carry them through this time. And it's almost like they're approaching us with a level of like devastation. It's like the next day after something really terrible happens in the community and the kids show up in my classroom, but it's not the next day. It's been over a year. So there's two things I'm seeing. I'm seeing a level of sadness, but then I also noticed that there's a level of shame. When my students are looking at me, I can see it in their eyes. It's like after they've completed a test and they know that it didn't go well and they turn it in and they're looking at me for support and validation and encouragement but it's been a year of this it's been a year of tests where they just boom 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 and i want you guys to know as my farewell speech for the year i know that this isn't necessarily as positive as you would think like oh last day of school hawaiian day okay but what I want you to know is that your teachers, every single one of us, none of us, none of us are looking down on you. None of us think of you any differently. We still love you. We still care about you. We still believe in your dreams. You don't have to give up. You don't have to say, well, maybe school's not for me. Because that's what I've heard students saying. Well, maybe, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I'm not cut out for college. Maybe, maybe all those dreams I thought I had, I don't have anymore. No. What this is, is the conclusion of, trauma of a traumatic experience that wasn't just a day. It's, it's been prolonged. So it's okay right now if you feel a little numb. It's okay if it's been difficult to get back into the routine. I want you to know that we love and care about you. It doesn't matter what's happened over this time. We've all had negative things happen over this time. And you know what? We're all going to get up together. Okay, there's no shame in that. There's no shame in getting back up together. And we're proud of you. We love you. We care about you. And we're gonna continue this journey to your dreams together. Because we're gonna make it, guys. We are. And I'm proud of you.